is that golden rule when you look for real estate, if you want to buy a flat or a house, the three most important factors are location, location and location. For me, the three most important factors when doing an investment is the team, the team and the team. And only number four is, hey, do they also have an interesting business model? Because uh, to, according to my experience, it is much more important to have a team that first there's good chemistry between the team and, and, and me, mainly when I'm a lead investor. There's one clear leader in the group, male or female, and the main areas are covered with good people. So I really am, I'm really looking for excellent teams. If that excellent team has kind of an average business model, average uh, project that has much higher chances to, to be successful, if, if there's a great project where you look at the project and see, wow, this is kind of tremendous, and you have an average team or a good team, I don't, I don't say even a good team, that's not enough. It's much more important to have the excellent team. And that's what I'm looking for. You have to see the, the passion, at least in the leader that I identify as a leader. I have to see the passion. I really like, it was also mentioned in the panel, that if that leader is the product guy, that's really cool. The CEO should be the product guy in a tech, in a tech company normally, not the sales guy. I mean, sometimes the sales guy and the product guy are the same. That happens sometimes in early stage. But it's always better the product guy to be the CEO. They have to be, there has to be a really good tech person. Because, I mean, when we talk about tech company, that has to be a really good tech person. Um, and somebody has to be able to to sell. Sell doesn't necessarily mean, because at the beginning you very often doesn't, don't have a product to sell, but selling means is there somebody who is able to do a good pitch to be able to explain to an investor when public the product or the project so that everybody understands that. It's important to have somebody in the team who is doing that, who can do that, because I mean, Selling does not only mean selling products, selling means that you have to convince somebody and you need people that are able to convince others, whether it's your team members, whether it's your employees, whether it's your investors or whether it's your customer, whatever. It's very, very personal. I mean, obviously, I have to like the, the, the project. I mean, they have to have a project and they have to like it. But I mean, I, I have learned that the original project in the in the phase when I invest is not necessarily the product which will go to the market one year later or maybe which will be, become successful three or four years later. There a lot of things happen until until the until the product is really successful. So the team has to have the capacity to adapt, to pivot, to do the necessary changes. If you have the great project and the team is not able to, to, to execute, then you will then you will fail. In terms of in terms of uh, of project, I'm kind of I invest in all industries. I really have to understand the problem that they want to solve with that because you always have to solve a problem. That's the that's my very first question. If I don't understand a pitch, I, my question is what is the problem? Explain me the problem that you want to solve. And then tell me, how do you solve that problem differently from others? Because that's the USP, that's the innovation. Okay. And how do you monetize that? And how big is the market? And if you have good answers to these questions, then I'm in. Good people and good answers to that questions, then I'm in.